Der er jo ikke taget nogen beslutning om noget som helst. Men noget, jeg er meget sikker på, det er, at de tør ikke smide os ud. For hvis de gør det, så får de alle deres gamle mennesker hjem ned fra Sydspanien og Italien, hvor de ellers holder til. Og dem, de smider ud, det er dem, der arbejder. Så det tør de overhovedet ikke. Nej, det er jo det er, at hvis de begynder at jage over de andre vest, så er der ikke nogen af de mennesker, der kan komme på tiden med, så er der ikke nogen til at passe på. Nej, fordi halvdelen af hospitalsvesten, det er jo folk udefra. Det, der man så kan sige, det er, at de fleste af dem kommer så fra Fjernøsten, så de er ikke ramt på samme måde, som europæere bliver ramt. og der kan ske mange ting nu inden den beslutning den er endt til Så jeg er sikker på, at de kommer til at udsætte, så det ikke bliver 29. marts, så de får måske et halvt helt år mere til at, at sikre sig noget mere. Men om det bliver bedre af det, det tror jeg ikke. Jo, det kan godt være, men problemet er, som man siger herovre, hvad skal man med det? Der er den det en gang, er det bedst af tre, bedst af fem, bedst af syv. Hvornår skal man så stoppe? Man kan aldrig få alle til at blive enige. Nej, det er rigtigt. Det vidste de ikke, men det vidste de jo heller ikke nu. For der er jo ikke nogen, der er kommet op med en plan, man kan stemme om.
course. I said, well, how much? And he said, 450. I said, you're joking. I said, completely out of the question. Well, how, you know, how much were you thinking of? I said, well, a maximum up of 300. I mean, I should have said lower, really. But most people seem to charge about that. So uh, he said, well, how about 350? And I said, no, no, it's 300 or nothing. So he thought about it for five seconds, and he said, okay, done. So I told her what I wanted done. I went up to the uh, uh, bank thing, you know, the hole in the wall to get some money out, 300 quid. He wouldn't accept it because my limit is 250. I must increase that because uh, 250 is not enough. I'd, I'd like to increase it to maybe 400 or something. Anyway, I got 250, and then of course I tried again to get another 50 out, and of course they said you can't, you've reached your access. So uh, I came out, and luckily I got 50 quid in my wallet. So he did the job, uh, broke my fence as well doing it, and um, I paid him the money. It took him an hour and a half, that's it, 300 quid for an hour and a half. Uh, talk about a rip-off, but you know, he wanted 450, you know. And he appointed my next door neighbour to take a tree down, where it's got quite a very few branches, no leaves or anything on it. And he wanted 650 for that, you know. Uh, but the, my next door neighbour said, no, I'll get somebody else for doing that. It's ridiculous. So when he does have it cut down, he's going to let me have the wood. Oh, God, there's another message from him. Here, how many is that? Four messages, I think. I've sent from uh, uh, you telling me what, uh, what frequency to go on there. Uh, the last, the last, I keep doing it, but that doesn't open it up. Uh, oh, I, oh no, well, that was Katie. Okay, she's coming in at four. So, uh, I'll see you at half four. So, uh, what, okay, back to you, uh, Gareth. Yes, okay, so this guy, do you reckon he was a local guy or just a chance? He wasn't, he wasn't a gypsy or a party or something, was he? I mean, I don't know, but um, did he have the uh, three children written on the, uh, on the vehicle and all that? Did he have all the gear? Did he have lots of chainsaws and all that? I think 